Good morning from the Touche. off sailboats. <laughs> Well, I mean, it kills me having to wash down the boat today. <laughs> All right, let me get the rest of my stuff ready to go. As this front gets past us, we're taking off. Oh, well, here, here comes more rain. <clears throat> Well, good morning. We're underway. The storm is <laughs> all around us. And you see the front behind us, there's a little hole in the storm right, right now. That's gonna be the test today. Once we get around Cape May, we get on the inside, then it'll be a lot of slow driving, no wig zones. Um, and that's pretty much gonna be the afternoon. So right now the big challenge is we're on the back side of this storm front that was popping lightning, hitting sailboat masts. Um, it was pretty exciting from my viewpoint um, or vantage point. That's, that's the right word, yeah, vantage point. Um, from my vantage point, it was pretty ridiculous. It was, it was wild. Like the immediate that you heard, the, you, you saw the flash, you saw the crash. And then the other ones were where it was just thunder and it was going through um, the area. It sounded like jet rocket, you know, jet airplanes rocketing away with uh, full afterburner, and you could just hear it going through the clouds. It was really, really exciting. Um, so we'll probably leave up the back enclosure here, or leave it down for right now. Um, I'll roll up the center one so we can get some airflow through the cabin, so the windows don't fog up too much. Again, my starboard side wiper doesn't work. Um, I think it's the, the, the motors are made out of plastic gears, 
It's just the most ridiculous thing in the world. Um, so that's got to probably be fixed. Um, other than that, we're on Nebo. We're running. If you're following along on Nebo, if you got the link from the other video, um, I have not uploaded any new videos lately because the GoPro app is no longer working. Uh, you, uh, it's called Unique. Uh, or the Quick, that's what it is, it's called Quick. The Quick app is no longer downloadable, they no longer support it, so I can't just plug my GoPro into the MacBook without some type of conversion um, to get the videos off of the GoPro. And I don't wanna upload the videos um, just from the iPhone because I got some really, really cool GoPro footage that really ties in everything that we've been doing, or I've been doing for the this trip. So. Let me turn the camera around. I'll show you where we are. We're right back at the train bridge. Very cool. Slow cruising. We're making about six to eight miles an hour right now. Some people do this entire loop at this speed. I mean, it's half of what it is, less than half of what it is for like a uh, school zone. All right, well, here comes the rain, so I'm gonna put down the phone and do my job. So here's one of my must-capture bridges. This is one that I cross over almost every single trip to the Northeast. Because I skip going through Baltimore and most of Washington, D.C. I typically take the Delaware cut 301 to 1 this way. This is the bridge when I'm going straight from Eastern Marine <laughs> to the Wawa that I cross over. These beautiful homes here. I wonder when they built that house if they knew they were going to hear traffic for the rest of their lives. rain is pouring down over there. Of course, I've navigated right to where the bridge is draining. <laughs> One drop on my elbow. Look at that rain. It's pretty amazing. Alright, here we go. This is a cool little building. It's like an old lighthouse turned into a roost for birds. Yeah, the water's a little angry today. So we're going real slow. About 12 to 15 miles an hour. But this is what a Grady's built for. And it handles it smooth. Get about 14 miles to go to get to Cape May and then we'll be on the inside for the rest of the day. 
Up ahead we have Cape May. The conditions flattened out and made it really nice once we got past that uh, that shoal area. It's really hard to hold the phone. I'm sorry for the shaky video. A couple of little whoops coming off the sea. There's the inlet right up ahead. And here we are. Cape May. Turn it off from autopilot. We've never had a chance to take the Lewis Delaware. It's worth the trip. Alright, back into protective waters. Thank God. This dude's not observing the no wig zone at all. <laughs> yeah, not at all, but we got this. I wanted to get video of the ferry and all the people outside of it, but the whale watcher boat was coming on full steam, as you just saw, and I had to pay attention to him, do my job, and couldn't get the footage. But that's the Cape May Ferry, if you ever get a chance to an opportunity to take this ferry across to Lewis, um, Delaware, it's worth the ride. Okay, how cool is this? This is the Coast Guard station at Cape May. It's like every square foot of Jersey Intracoastal Waterway is a no wind zone. Because every property has to have a boat. Or a jet ski, wet slip. And then anybody fishing has to be in the direct center of the channel. Oh yeah, they can't go fish in a little pocket, a little hole. Nope, right in the waterway. That's where they gotta be. I am really loving that Sundancer. That's a 40. That'd be awesome with a pair of Duramax pieces in it. That's like the perfect size. I gotta wonder, are they building the house to match the boat? It sure looks that way. Just getting into Atlantic City, there's the Tropicana. Over there is Hard Rock.
fourth one, I've got to wait for an opening. And the opening on time schedule. Well, it's not on the time that they have listed. The last one was 15 minutes late when it said it was opening on the half hour. And then the next one um, didn't open on the hour. So here we go. Seven miles of my trip. The last seven miles of my trip would be some of the roughest yet. Look at a white cat. This is what I was expecting from a Jensen Beak. Alright, cat. Do you want Zito or Tobo US? I don't know. Somebody start. Oh, did you call Zito first? You have a cell phone number? Up. Don't have seat tow if you're out here doing this. And just like that, we're here. <laughs> oh, awesome. Let me get docked. We have arrived in Toms River, New Jersey. Not a scratch on the props. Um, boat's a little filthy, so we're parking it here instead of at Bob's dock at his house. I'm going to go get the vehicle, come back here in a little bit, get everything tidied up a little bit more, get some more things back to the house, and then tomorrow we're going to haul it out, pressure washed, cleaned and ready to go. So it stays as nice as when I picked it up. And then I'll spend the next day or so after the storm that comes through, detailing, cleaning, fixing little loose fasteners here and there, and just taking care of everything that's necessary to put this in perfect shape the way I received it. Anyway, you guys, uh, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching. I think I'm gonna put together a little wrap up video and a little cleaning video and things that you know you can check and look for. Um, like, I don't remember if the old exhaust grommet was there because I couldn't see it from his dock, but it's not there now and James has ordered one. So, little things like that. But, uh, we'll uh, address that maybe in another video. 